Zomato continues to be on our radar. Mangalam is here with more. Mangalam. Well, Zomato, you know, yesterday the results came towards the dying hours of trade. The management commentary was extremely positive. They upped their overall growth expectations in the medium term from 40% to 50%. On food delivery, they said, you know, the gross order value for food delivery will continue upwards of 20% with margin expansion. And they reiterated their EBITDA positive guidance for Blinkit by or on before the first quarter of FI25 itself. And, you know, they gave us some more details as well. 70% of the Blinkit stores are already contribution margin positive, and of which 20% give you more than 5% contribution margins. So those were strong internals. And brokerages, as a result of which, have been very enthused as well. Bernstein, for instance, have given an outperform call. They've raised their target to 180 rupees per share. And they're saying that the company has raised the bar, again, with medium-term growth expectations of 50%. Jefferies, too, has the highest target price on the street. 205 rupees. They've raised their EBITDA expectations by 4 to 10 percent over the next two years as well. The most interesting note, however, came in from Nomura this morning. They have a target of 180 rupees. They've ascribed a multiple of 50 times FY26 EV to EBITDA to Zomato. And what they say is that this multiple, which is a 25 percent premium to DMAR, Trent, and Titan, is justified given the growth prospects of the company. All right. Thanks a lot for that. So that